You can see that the memorial, the tribute to uh, state trooper, state police sergeant Brian Mole, still uh, very prominent on the Judson Avenue bridge. And it's right down here, down Judson Avenue, along this floodplain where it's believed he was swept into the Pomperog River, which is about 50 yards to my right. And one town official is wanting to make sure that nothing like this ever happens again. A solution to the ongoing flooding problem in Woodbury started to gain speed right after State Police Sergeant Brian Mole, a Woodbury resident, was killed on a dark road he likely never knew was flooded. Well, we've been talking about putting up very strong gates. Gates that during flooding would be locked to stop vehicle traffic along certain flood-prone roads in town including in the vicinity of Three Rivers Park, which is part of a floodplain between Jacks Bridge Road and Judson Avenue. I'm going to be applying for a, a FEMA grant for about $100,000, because that, that has to be the gates, the pre-warning, the warning on the gates. This, I think, is really one of those situations where, um, while we can't ignore the cost, we look at the cost and we say it's something we have to do. We have to spend this money. The emergency management director says through the years, people have often ignored cones and signage blocking flooded roadways. So following this tragedy, he says, gates are warranted. And if people are a little inconvenienced when there's a storm, too bad. It's for their own protection and it's for my protection. And looking at the water's normal tranquil flow, it's hard to imagine what it morphed into September 2nd. According to the U.S. Geological Survey Monitor at Jack's Bridge, it was flowing at 28,000 gallons per second. I've never seen it do what it did um, a couple weeks ago, rise so fast and jump out. But this thing went wild. It came up like eight, eight and a half feet in a matter of hours. Yeah, and I'll give you a look at this cornfield that's here, part of Three Rivers Park. About halfway up that corn is how high the water rose and then swept across Judson Avenue here. And the emergency management director tells me in as little as two inches of water, if it's moving fast enough, it can sweep your vehicle off the road. So again, heed warnings. If you see signs, obviously turn around and find an alternate route. We're live here in Woodbury. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.